Dude, it's a good thing stream is almost over. I'm feeling really hungry. I had sausage this morning and it was good, but I like, I didn't eat enough of it. Well, I hate that you started with DD Assailant. That sucks. I'm gonna hope that whatever you summon next, you still attack with DD Assailant first. I'm just gonna hang on to everything else. Not the A forces. All right, attack with DD Assailant though. I hate you. Well, I should have just summoned seven colored fish and attacked DD Assailant, it turns out. Nobleman of Crossout is uh, a wee bit too late. This sucks, I'm gonna have to do this. Because if I just, like, put Command Knight face down, then she's going to summon another warrior, and then, uh... A-Forces is going to make it where... Whatchamacallit, where DD Assailant can kill my Command Knight. I hate DD Assailant and DD Warrior Lady. They're such annoying cards to deal with. Not an ideal start, but we can make this work still. Especially with this nice 1800 damage right here. That sucks. Like a lot. Oh, it looks like she might not have drawn a monster, though. She did. That's getting Nobleman of Cross out. Ooh, baby. All right. Another Command Knight is perfect. I just need her to not draw something that can destroy this Command Knight. And then I can just summon the other one next turn and we're set. Basically. Yeah, we're good. I don't think Alexis has anything in this deck that can destroy one of my Command Knights after I have both of them in play. I don't think she has just like any monster destroyers. I got, uh... I got Sword of Revealing Light here as a backup anyway. Now, if I could just draw the third Command Knight next turn, that would be insanely cash money. And pretty much just guarantee my... No, wait. Ah, oh, dang it, Scapegoat. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. I was going to say, if she doesn't draw a monster or she just draws a monster the Command Knight can kill, I can summon Sengen and do exactly enough damage to uh, finish her life points. But of course, she has Scapegoat. How do you top deck Scapegoat every single time I duel you, Alexis? Literally every time. It's insane. I should have been winning this turn. Instead, there are a bunch of stupid goats. Oh, she has Regeki Break, actually. I didn't know she had that in this deck. Well, there go all of my hopes of getting a perfect victory for that extra 10 DP. But also, I drew Vorse Raider, so it's fine. I should play Mystic Plasma Zone, actually, to be safe. Since she has A-Forces, she might summon something that can actually kill Vorse Raider or tie with it. There we go. Okay, never mind. Three copies of goats? I'm pretty sure scapegoat is restricted. I think you can only have one. But I might be wrong. I hope it's restricted because, man, it's an annoying card. Ah, oh, Mirror Force. How nice. Ugh! I hate the DD cards so much. Oh, they annoy me. At least they're gone now. I don't think she has DD Warrior. And Warrior Lady and Assailant are restricted. Alright, Alexis. Please just don't draw a monster. And then I still need to draw a monster. I swear, if that's the hollow life barrier or whatever. I didn't draw a monster anyway, it doesn't matter. Why does she have three monsters removed? Oh, because I used Nobleman of Crossout. Of course it is! Why wouldn't it be? Just drag this out as much as you possibly can. Yeah. 
Goodbye. Well, really wanted to draw a monster this turn, yet here we are. I can call the Haunted back my Command Knight if I need it, though. Ooh. If she doesn't draw a monster, I can get the, uh, the, the final hit with Sangin here. That would be very cash money. Oh, never mind. She has the stupid Marie of the Fallen. I hate you. I was almost happy for a brief moment. Well, this just seems rude. If I wait two more turns and she doesn't draw any monsters, she'll be at 1600, and then I can get the perfect kill with command. I'm not waiting that long. As if. It's not worth the 10 DP. I win. Yet again. All right, nice 130, nice 130. Almost under 17 hundo here. If we fight Cyrus, we'll end up at exactly 1600 experience. I have a feeling Alexis will lose next time. For the record, for anyone curious. She says otherwise, but I don't believe her. Didn't I get the card list for the Dark Magician Girl pack? Did I look at that? I don't think I did. Do, do. Oh, you can just get Dark Magician from this pack. Okay, cool. Dark Magician Girl. Alligator Sword Dragon. Who cares? Chaos End. I don't know what that does. DD Designator. I don't know what it does. Dimension Fusion. I think it sucks. Magical Dimension is amazing. We would need three copies of this card to do a Spellcaster deck. I mean, not need, but it would be really good. And then Gravity Bind. All right. Oh, Thousand Knives is in this one, actually. Okay, and Dark Magic Attack. So we basically just, like, if we want to do a Spellcaster deck... Wait a minute, where's Dark Magician Girl? Oh, there she is. Okay, cool. If we want to do a Spellcaster deck, we basically just keep buying this pack over and over again. Get more copies of Dark Magic Attack. Dedication through Light and Darkness is worthless because we don't have Dark Magician of Chaos and it doesn't come up in this pack. Maybe it's... Wasn't the pack that has Dark Magician of Chaos on it the Ritual card version, not the Effect card one? The Effect card one is the only one that matters. I don't think I have the card list for that one, so we need to get the card list for it. But if we get, like, uh, a couple of Sage Stones, some Thousand Knives, some Dark Magic Attack, then we can get, like, another Black Magic Curtain. Then, like, three Dark Magicians. We've got the Magicians of Valkyria. Uh, it would be good to get Gemini Elf, a couple of those. But we... Magical Dimension is the big thing. But we could, uh, we could totally run a Spellcaster deck. We are getting to the Shadow Riders and thus getting close to the end of the game. I would like to use more than just one style of deck in this playthrough. I'm very confident that when we do the 5Ds DS games, we'll get to do a lot more deck variety than in GX. Is it banned in this game? Is what banned in this game? Oh, Dark Magician of Chaos? Even if it's banned, we should be able to get it, but I don't think it's banned. I think it's restricted. I know it's restricted in at least one of the DS games, and I thought it was just restricted in Spirit Caller. But I don't know. Dude, we still haven't registered Briar. I'm dying inside? This kid isn't even worth 100 experience. Why are you wasting my time? It's at one here? Okay, so it's just restricted. We need to get the card list for the Dark Magician of Chaos pack and see if it's actually in that one or if it's just the, uh... If it's just the Ritual version that's in that pack. Alright, Briar, let's get this done with quick, buddy. Why did I not put Wall of Illusion face down turn one? What was I thinking? Oh, I predicted that he had Enraged Battle Ox. That's what I was thinking. Man, I'm smart actually a genius. Not the Robin Zombie. Get him, lads. Beat him up. Bum, 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 bum. Nice stab, nice stab. 
And we will play Swords of Revealing Light because he might have another Enraged Battle Ox. And if he does, then man, I really need to draw something. All right, cool, he didn't. There is now nothing to worry about. At least not for this turn. I sure hope I can kill whatever this face down is. I can. Because this idiot runs Hitotsumi Giant in his deck, which is utter madness. Not sure what he's thinking. All right, just don't draw something with more than 1,800 attack or defense for one more turn. And then we should have enough time for at least one more duel. Get a little bit of extra. Ah, oh, dang it. What did I just tell you? Ah, oh, Mirror Force. That solves all my problems. <laughs> Nothing to worry about now. I just need my Swords of Revealing Light to run out, actually. Thank you. Ah, Boris Raider. You can actually speed this up a little bit for me. Oh, and you get the plus 200 attack as well. I forgot about that part. I was going to sack him to the Spear Dragon. Because then I just need Mechanical Chaser to be able to destroy whatever this face down is. And he can because it is once again Hitotsumi Giant. Let this be a lesson to you kids. Never, never use Hitotsumi no Giant or whatever its name is in your deck. It's never worth it, ever. Briar, for the love of all that is holy, register me. I've beaten you like 46 times, dude. Come on. Just let me never have to duel you again. You know you wanna. I just keep embarrassing you. I, dude, what is with this kid? Is he broken? Is the game glitched? Am I dying? What the heck is the deal? Tori. We'll see if you get uber lucky again this time. Hopefully you don't. Start duel. Ooh, turn one Koala, not bad. Turn one Double Command Knight, also not bad. I swear, if that's Destiny Board, I'm gonna be mad at you. Especially since you got to go first instead of me. I hate you. Well, time to see if Dust Tornado, Heavy Storm, or Mystical Space Typhoon are in the next, like, three cards in my deck. This dude's really about to top deck beat me again because Destiny Board is stupid. I wish I was running a Gladiator Beast deck right now. I considered using Solemn Judgment here to try and, like, quick run down his life points, but we wouldn't be able to run down his life points fast enough anyway, I don't think. Oh, hey, it's all of my Command Knights. Can I use Solemn Judgment on him playing the in in final? Is that allowed? I feel like it should be allowed. He played a card there. I should be able to Solemn Judgment that. I actually blame the game mechanics here. Oh, come on. Please, for the love of all that is holy, let me draw whatchamacallit right here. I have a Spirit Reaper face down as well, so there was no way that I could win by doing damage. Let me draw a Heavy Storm right here. I hate you. All right, new rule. We're no longer dueling Tori. He just keeps getting insanely lucky right off the cuff. Turn one destiny board along with like all the cards he needs to stop me from attacking until he wins. Do not like. All right, this is good. Sengen will get one more card out of my deck that is not one of my spell destroying cards. All right, I'm gonna draw a heavy storm right here. Art of the cards. 
Everyone ready for this? Heart of the cards, heart of the cards, heart of the cards. Yeah, Mystical Space Typhoon, that's what I said. I'm gonna get rid of the A because you're stinky. And that gets rid of all of them. Suck it, nerd. You might actually attack me with your Thunder Dragon. I shouldn't have done this. For some reason, I thought I had Mirror Force. Spoiler alert, I don't have Mirror Force. Okay. No. It's not like you're gonna win this duel by lowering my life points anyway. That's probably Mask of Darkness. Which means I am, like, back to being on a timer, basically. Why didn't I switch Koala to attack mode here? I should've. Destroy whatever this face down is. Oh no, it's Penguin Soldier, of course. Alright, well good, get rid of it. Now I can actually try and get Barrel Dragon out, and I might need Barrel Dragon for this, uh, unhappy girl. Never before have I had this much trouble summoning- Why? Why do you need two of them? I swear, if that's the other dest- another destiny board, I'm gonna be livid. Ah, now I don't care. Sucks to suck, nerd. This is what you get for your entire strategy being based on one trap card. You deserve to lose. Hey, Chaos, again, why are you not just going ahead and attacking with Desk Koala? Oh yeah, there it is. I'm gonna let you think that you have a chance. And play some of them. Actually, no, I'm not, because you get to take more of them out of your deck, and I want you to dead draw them. So I'm just gonna immediately get rid of it. Oh no, Necro Valley! Get wrecked. Alright, I have Heavy Storm in my deck, and he's got one more Destiny board somewhere, as well as Mask of Darkness, so, you know, here we go. Welcome to the races. In hindsight, I, uh, well, <laughs> we're super on a timer now, but I can win this timer, because all he's going to draw on his turn is Destiny board, yeah. I should have summoned Vorse Raider or something because I don't want to tribute my Command Knight, but I need to get Barrel Dragon out. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. That face down is obviously Destiny Board, so we don't have to worry about it. me with one of these bad boys. And I finally got all three Command Knights out. I think it's my first time doing that. Everyone please clap. So this is going to leave you at 500. So I just summon Vorse Raider next turn, or Barrel Dragon for that matter, and attack you and win. So very unlikely there's anything you can do to stop that other than Sakuretsu Armor, which would just buy you one more turn. Actually, I should have played Mage Power and won this turn, but I wasn't thinking. You can tell I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for four hours because I had easy lethal there, but it didn't occur to me. Oh, you don't have any Spirit Message Eyes to play, so you can't win anyway, idiot. I thought that Destiny Board would play it from his discard pile. I'm actually surprised it doesn't. So unless you have, like, I don't know, Pot of Avarice, there's nothing you can do, dude. You really thought you were going to get to attack my Desk Koala there, didn't you? You thought wrong. Well, Barrel Dragon, if you wouldn't mind, just uh, go ahead and get us out of here, buddy. Wait, this is the last duel of the stream? I have to see if Barrel Dragon gets his effect off or not. Come on, dude. I'm, I'm like one for eight on these today. I'm a gamer canonically built different. Play us out on the saxophone, Barrel Dragon. He's really good at the sax. There you go. Oh, stretch. 
I'll take my 110 experience. 1,510 experience to go to a level up. That's not too bad. It's a bit. We're gonna spend like the first hour of stream next stream getting that level up, essentially. Assuming we need it before we can duel Chaz for the uh, the school duel. Save up. But yeah, we're uh, we're getting pretty close. It's gonna be a bit of a crawl. No, don't sleep. I didn't mean to sleep. Yeah, it's not late enough. I just, on instinct, I was like, save then sleep. But uh, we're getting pretty close. The end of the game is gonna be a bit of a crawl because we're gonna have to do a lot of just random duels to level up. But we're gonna unlock being able to duel like Crowler soon and he's worth, I think like 130 experience as well or something like that. Uh, I think you get to duel Chaz during the Shadow Rider stuff as well. So we'll have new people to duel. It'll be a little more fun, but uh, we'll get some more variety. And we'll be doing the Shadow Rider duels and whatnot, and I think we have to get to level 20 to beat the game. So, getting from, like, level 15 to 20 is gonna be, like, a bit of a slow crawl as we fight the Shadow Riders throughout it. But, uh, like I said, once you beat the Shadow Riders, there are, like, three events after that at the end of the game. You, like, I think you do the thing where, like, Chumley graduates, you do Zane's graduation duel, uh, and then I think you have to duel Dark Zane you duel Aster Phoenix, and then they like do a little a little tournament at the very end where like you duel Aster, and then after that you duel Jaden, and dueling Jaden is the end of the game. So it's like four or five events after the Shadow Riders, and then it's it's game over. So we're we're getting pretty close because we're almost to the Shadow Riders. It's just gonna be a matter of, and I might even do some off-screen dueling to level up, depending. I don't want to do that though, but we'll see. Cause I mean, like it's dueling. That's the fun of the game is more dueling. But we'll uh. We'll see how long it takes me as we get to the end here. So, thanks for coming to stream, everyone. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you want to catch these live, link to my Twitch channel description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate your support either way. And until next time, farewell.